Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Company Girls 2 replay. Spawn the south side as the blue USF, we have Shadex ARG. Spawn his teammate as the yellow US player, we have To Me. Spawn as, as the opposition as the Wehrmacht player, we have Colora. Colora? Colora. Well, the closest thing I can get it to. And as the Magenta Wehrmacht player, we have the 101st Airborne, who's not playing USF. That stuff just sort of just triggers me a bit. If you're going to go name like that, plays the proper faction. You got a early sniper. He skipped the MG42 going straight for a sniper grenadier. And over here, we just have MG42 and grenadier, the standard build opener. We have some tank traps being deployed on out over here, as well as some riflemen. Pretty standard. Over here, we got, well, again, more riflemen. Pretty standard. We may see a mortar from yellow, since the opponent does have, of course, an MG42, which is pretty standard. So the chance of a mortar is quite high, and he's in. No, don't. Don't be too aggressive. Make sure you have spotting before going that aggressive. But should be able to set on up to protect this victory point, no problem. Riflemen do spot the pioneers, but they have to pull out some heavy cover there. The pioneers are eating all most of those shots as the grenadiers are probably just pick away freely without any worry, which is actually pretty good. And now this teammates of Vermax sniper deployed out on the field. These pioneers are holding the line behind heavy cover as well. Very nice. And he's going to try to run down the sniper. So the Volks Grenadiers will get a lot of free damage. And he will take time for this one to start shooting down the Grenadier. It was unlikely for him to actually run down the sniper. Sniper is a bit wounded, but that is a two man squad. Keeping around, even trying to run down snipers is generally a bad idea. Does throw a round into the rear echelons. We really should have retorted towards this rifleman, I would say. Grenadiers are starting to gauge the riflemen as well. Down south, we've got the riflemen. Sort of sitting around doing nothing. They need to fall back, get reinforcements. And we've got... Both the US players have gone for a second rear echelon squad. Interesting. That's a bit unusual. Usually we see riflemen, and then more riflemen. And then usually more riflemen after that. MG42 trying to fire away against the riflemen. We have a lieutenant reporting in for duty. And now we do have a lieutenant. So yellow's gone for the lieutenant. And blue has gone for captain. And he's also launched in the doctrine of the Urban Assault Company and has one set of rifle grenades. Which actually makes sense that why he went for second rear echelon to get out the rifle grenade launchers. Because they are a pretty good uh weapon there. And like the MGs, you only really need one window if you get inside a garrison, since that's the primary weapon. Our supply line just got cut off. Grandier squad is falling on back. We're losing a capture point. And these rare echelons has received quite a bit of fire there, just way too much fire in this region. Plus a sniper. Captain start making some advance. The captain model could potentially get some good damage in as the captain itself goes down, so no Thompson on that squad anymore. Looks like he does throw a rifle grenade into that structure. Pioneers are sitting ducks to that. Does manage to dodge that rifle grenade here. Rear echelon here to support and absorb some shots. These grenadiers will find a good angle on the rear echelon. The rifleman is trying to rotate around to engage them. And having the rear echelon there, they could stay around a little bit longer to absorb shots for the rifleman so they can make the advance more safely. Sniper still, however, are picking away at them. Riflemen do go for a flank here onto this Grenadier. And this Grenadier here make it flanked as well. Heavy cover in this region. More Rifle Grenades firing onto this Grenadier here. And that will get some good damage in. And this Rifleman will get nice and close for point blank rapid fire shots. 
This Darkman will get a nice flank onto the MG42 as well. We'll be able to displace it relatively soon. Grandiers, however, will punish them for flanking. And does full retreat there. Lieutenant's and coming to support as well. The Lieutenant model himself is down, so no Thompson either. Does reinforce the captain, and the rifling squad here is reinforcing as well. And that is an AA half track deployed on out. Over here, we've got a 50 cal. And these grenadiers are quite wounded. Red is going for a 2 to 2. We've got the life mechanized company and the uh, medic bunker. Over here, medic bunker is being deployed on out along with the 2 to 2. Scout car has arrived. Two rifle grenades have been deployed on out. This one may need fall back to get some reinforcements. Doesn't have them aimless yet, neither does yellow. Lieutenant still in the region, or lieutenant. And now the 2 2 start making his way forward. We do have the 50 cal here, which can do some put some big holes into that uh, 2 2. Does use armor piercing rounds, he didn't need to use armor piercing rounds. The regular fire is more than plenty against the 2 and does fall back with the Grenadiers in the region. Rock grenade thrown, complete whiff. Down south, we do have the M5 Stoop deployed on the field. The capture point is under attack. Crowds have cut our supply line. Frontline units are being hung out to dry. A capture point is being overrun. Antique aircraft half track has been spotted before, has one kill, so he knows it exists. Magenta does have an AT gun. So does Red. On the left side, Stuart's making his advance. Where is the pack 40 for Red? Just got deployed on the field, so very far away. The sandbags do go down. Rifle grenades do get fired, and that's going to be pretty painful right there. Yep, very little help for me. Full, yeah, falling back now will preserve a lot of manpower. Rifle grenades don't need to push forward. They'll fire some rounds straight into the silo. Never mind. It's not a grain silo. Is that a fuel silo? Silo. And they're getting caught up on that terrain there. Captain's first push away forward. And with the captain's Thompson still up, he able could get some good damage from the squad if he starts focusing it. But it didn't really focus it. And now the captain model is down. Over here, we've got the rifleman getting a nice flank there on the pack 40. And the Pioneers will not be able to save it. 2-2 two two, being gauged by the rear echelon. So no additional doctrinal lock-ins. Not sure which doctrine would be best. Urban Assault Company wouldn't be half bad. But his teammates already gone for that. Infantry Company. The 19, M19, M1919 squad would be a bit good. And mechanized. The 76 millimeters could be good, depends how the opponents go. Pack 40 does go down here. And does throw out. Oh, that's a Molotov, the incendiary device. Rockman do fall back. And over here, we do have some tank shots being thrown into the tank traps. Let's take out one of the tank traps there. So some heavy cover for the rifleman. And we've got the arm piercer rounds being utilized on the 50 cal. Stuart is trying to pursue that 2-2-2 two, 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 and will successfully take it out with the next machine gun burst. Or the actual main cannon. Enemy is inflicting losses upon us. A lot of grenadiers here. Good chance for of snares. He does back away up north. Which will throw his opponent off and perhaps find some time to escape. Or we'll push some forces over for, uh, forward to track these forces. But he has nothing in the region. Nowhere close. Rock grenades does come forward. Gains some good damage there onto the Grenadiers. Good hit there on the A half track. A half track will get the arc of fire. 
And one of the rear slots of course, do fall back. Does throw another rifle grenade there. Gain some great damage. That one needs to fall back. Third rear echelon has deployed on out with the rifle grenades. Gain some good damage all across the line. Pretty close to a squad wipe there. This other one needs to fall back as well. He's just way too wounded. And so it does escape out of there. Looks like they did receive a pack fully shot on retreat, but not a thing, no uh, Panzerfaust. point is under attack. Rear echelon are behind heavy cover, so they will sustain a lot of fire without being suppressed, but the AT tank gun is putting some rounds into the tank trap. One shot away and the tank trap will go down. Tank trap does go down, now can be quickly suppressed right there. The lieutenant is now coming for a flank, the Thompson model is in the back, the lieutenant himself. And here, grenade. Grenade does connect, connect with the uh, 50 cal. Stuart has been repaired and will be pushing his way forward. He will get a pass of Faust off for two. Or, yep, or no. See, he's out of munitions. That was a bluff, and he failed with his bluff. Does drop a bar right there. He needs to quickly pick it up. Does pick it up. Falls back. He may lose that squad. He does lose that squad. We got the pack forty now decrewed. Over the right side, we got these forces engaging the garrison. 50 cows in the region, but not firing. A rifleman here do get overwhelmed. More rifle grenades being fired forward from the three rear echelon. And now we do have some rangers out in the field. He has lost the A half track, and that's sure where, perhaps to the pack gun. I honestly don't know where. Stuart does receive a pack 40 shot and receives a miss there as well. Does receive a miss there and he will fall back the rifle grenades. Red Star transitioning towards the center as well. And more rifle grenades are being fired forward. He does actually capture the anti-tank gun right in front of his opponent. And he may actually get it. The other rifleman squad is charging forward. He is behind heavy cover, but the point blank may be enough to get suppression off, but it looks like not. He will receive a lot of fire that does actually get suppressed thanks to point blank. And a pair of rifle grenades worth firing right there, getting some severe damage on that Grandier. The Grandier squad will need to fall back. Actually, there could have been a regular grenade in that mix as well. Thompson Rangers screwing around the flanks. Maybe get some great hits in. Sniper's still alive. 22 kills. Starting to push his way forward. Rifle grenades into that area. Does get a hit there. This one will need to fall back. The sniper make it the wipe there. Thompson Rangers coming for a flank. Sniper does send a round into the Thompson Rangers. He's not rushing down the sniper. Rushing down the grenadiers. The weakened one will manage to escape on through as well. And snipers do get shot into the 50 cal. So Red has not his own sniper, I just realized. I mentioned the sniper, but not realizing it was a different sniper. Five kills, so it is pretty fresh. Stuart is still alive, however. We may see a passive house here. Yes, passive house has been cast. Now the left hand's charging forward, gain some damage there onto the grenadier. Your 
Rear Echelon receiving some hits in. I heard Sherman ready for action. That is the Sherman Calio. Nobody else has selected a doctrine just yet either. Let's see. I mentioned it before in the US player's doctrine. Let's see. Storm doctrine could be useful. Depends what they go for. Ambush is always nice to have. And the left 18 Stuka dive bomb could also be useful. Encirclement. Let's see. There is one, two cutoff points here. So encirclement could be useful, but it's not a little lot to they have to push them, let them push forward in order for that to be useful, because there are largely there are large sectors to the cutoff points, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of surface area for encirclement to be useful. And we've got fortified armor, which can be very useful. Elephant, fall down, those are the strong abilities, along with the command tank, that's all good abilities. So it's likely fortified doctrine made the best doctrine for Magenta. Calio Barrage now raining on in. Not getting a whole lot of good hits in, honestly. Good grenade there by the Rangers. Or, nope, that's the actual right Ranger grenade. Rangers do see some LMG fire from the Grenadiers. These Grenadiers may well manage to pull back with all their models. And that could be uh, Rear Echelon and Lieutenant now skirting around the flanks. Over here, we do have the Rifleman advancing to the bar. Remains, but way, way too far forward, unsupported. Here will be a great sector for the Kaliop to start barraging in. Not necessarily for his own side, but his teammates' side. Four red. Jaeger armor, not half bad because elephants are always be useful in team games, with special response to overflight and spotting scopes. Fortified armor again. And Blitzkrieg. I'm not a huge fan of Blitzkrieg. It's just that. Oh, we got a doctrine lock in of fortified armor. Smoke ground was utilized right there. On the right side, we've got the Major forcing back the Pioneer. More rifle grenades being thrown. Very nice. Over here, the Grenadiers are advancing with the Lieutenant engaging from the flank. Got power of the Sniper and Grenadier here as well. Stewart is still alive, still picking away with his shots. Sherman ready to go. And now we do have a Sherman 76mm. We do have another Dr. Lockin of Mechanized Company. Sherman Calliope raining a barrage onto the sector, trying to go with that sniper. It's a pretty close range barrage, and the Grenadiers get annihilated. Can you hit down the Rangers? Very nice. We got a recon run flying over about for the Fortified Armor Doctrine. If they are really paying attention to what doctrine they've gone for, they would realize that that would be fortified. Because the other no other doctrines that both players had could be used for recon zone flights. But at this point in time. That could easily be forgotten of which doctrines what. The enemy is overrunning one and seeing reconnaissance flights have been using, it's available in many doctrines. You could easily forget uh, what doctrine that could be associated with this current game. Weapon rack is now accessible. Multiple rock grenades there, forcing back the grenadiers. And now we've got the Sherman tank engaging, but throwing some rounds into the ground. And the pack gun does get a fine hit there. Brumbar deployed on the field. I do like the Brumbar. He does have two AT guns to support it as well. Panther has been deployed on out as well. So the Axis players have a lot of AT and a lot of heavy assets. 
Rifleman right getting a nice flank there onto the pack guns, but however, there is a defensive MG bunk here. Unusual spot for it, but successful in this moment in time. We could see some major artillery de being deployed on top of it. Panther does receive an anti-tank rifle grenade, a complete waste. It'll take another two more to get the engine snare. And now with the pinto mount there, with the hull mount and the uh, coaxial, that's a lot of fire anti-infantry fire that can come out. Fires another right, rifle grenade there, or anti-tank rifle grenade, still not enough. It does force fire attacking that rifleman now. 76 millimeters, millimeters skirting around. And force fire and destruction the tank traps, very nice. Blob of riflemen advancing, or not necessarily riflemen, but just US infantry. Cadio Barrage raining on in. Forcing back that run of the year. Over here, riflemen are making their advance rank is a good damage in. It gets a decent hit there. Sherman 76mm charging on forward. Riflemen do get pinned. And we'll find the rear armor of we'll find the rear armor of the Sturm Bonzer. Those in the balance of the frontal armor. Pack guns need to rotate around. They are there's a line sight block there. One is blocked through smoke there as well. And now the broom bar needs actually has his rear armor exposed. A lot of smoke in this region, but the broom bar is now very exposed. Fires another bounce on the frontal armor of the broom bar. And it does get a point blank shot there, taking him out. Sherman tank does receive quite a bit of hits there, but the sewer should be enough to distract the fire. The captured pack 40 is backing away as well. Sherm take will escape on out of there. Major escape on out of there as well. We are and there's actually a single bazooka on this Ranger. It does have the Thompson's only consumed two weapon slots, leaving the third one open for the fifth member, which he did pick up the bazooka. Trying to go for a mixed combat squad. Is hit or miss whether or not the bazooka would be useful or not? Because dropping one model, if the bazooka model, that won't be swapped out for uh for Thompson. have a Sherman Calio Barrage raining on in, gain some great damage in. MG42 team is ready for action. MG42 and Grenadiers engage the heavy cover there. They'll get enough damage, they will win the fight, and I'm actually actually finding an angle for suppression. Sherman 76 and Stuart starts to make its way forward. Got another Sherman 76 as well. So a lot of vehicles coming out for yellow. Red will need to pull out an elephant tank destroyer sooner rather than later to gauge help in case that armor. Two pack 40 hits there on the Stuart is a late response, could fire, and does connect. And that other one looked like a pretty good hit as well. This is Stuart right now is a bit of a minor loss. He should have kept that along the flanks to help uh, prevent any sort of advancement on the flank. Sniper may get focused down. He's trying to hit the sniper rolls and miss there. He does get a passive pass onto the Sherman tank, but not enough damage to take it the snare. Congressional squad here left out the dry and needs to fall back because it's about ready to get wiped. He does get wiped there. 
Jackson has him pulling out of field, getting good hit. And the Rangers do push on forward. The Bazooka model still up. And we've got a rifle grenade onto the Rangers. That's the Panzer Warfare Barrage from Magenta. The wide scanner almost got a model there, but does not. And good dodge there by the US player. Telemine's on the flank, very nice. That could be useful. If it is useful, it's gonna be very, it will hurt the US player severely. Grenadiers do receive some healing there. Those look like to use the first aid ability. Those receive a rifle grenade, however, and the 50 cal will get ripped up. And that Grenadier does have a bar. 50 cal does retreat back in time. Grenadier squad needs to fall back. It was chasing the 50 cal. These Grenadiers are getting some damage in. Looks like the yellow player has gotten the Scott. He does have, of course, two Sherman 76mm to, to support his Scott. And Rifle Grenade was fired. That's pretty bunched up, getting severe damage in. And does get a full squad wipe there. Rifle Grenades from the rear echelon does connect as well. And more rifle grenades from the rear echelons. Scott does fire a barrage onto this M42 and perfect timing with this, these forces, but there's another M42 here. Looks like we've got a reconnaissance. No, major artillery raining on in right there. Rock from Duke, hop inside the garrison. There's three, there's three uh, windows right there. Perfect for four-man squad. This other rifleman squad is advancing. They both got out, out the structure. Try and go for the anti-take rifle grenade. Look at the anti-take rifle grenade. Ooh, stupid dive bomb somewhere. On this point here, he's gone for a circle, but that's not stupid dive that bomb. That's supply break. Which so these sectors are cut off, so he can actually crush the pocket. Needs a bit more munitions for it. Maybe going for a partial crush the pocket. And the Panther squad is severely wounded. He's probably not going to go for close the pocket right now. He doesn't have enough vision in that range to know what it is. I suppose close the pocket can be useful for small close the pockets rather than one massive frontline one. You know, actually closing a particular pocket rather than uh, rush forward, break supply lines, then close it. The squad of pioneers has arrived. Scott does receive pack 40 shot there, rolls and missed there. And these guys are quite bitten. Best keep them alive. These grenadiers need to start hitting that uh lieutenant. Ooh, the these guys are also quite wounded as well. They need to fall back at healing. Or fall back and use medical supplies. You really don't want to do that. So well, he is red. So he says he only has Recon's overfly. So it's a good actually idea to do the medical crates for him. So Magenta needs to make sure he keeps his uh, resources up. And a Major and Rear Echelon both are on top of those points. I think they realized that was a break to supply line. Not a stupid dive bomb. Elephant has been put on out the field. In order to quickly claim these sectors, or one of the cutoff sectors, he needs to pull out stormtroopers, keep them camouflaged, and then use the MP40s. As a warfare barrage comes, got a good hit there. Grandiers are engaging. They have the MG42 and a bar, I believe. With the elephant on the field, 
Hanks will be able to get in the center map also easily. Red needs to get some more defenses up here, however. 76 millimeter advancing, receives a hit there from the Panther, and uh, the Elephant does roll a miss there. Calio Farage rings on in, does pick out the MG42 there. Grenadiers can start, needs to get into the central VP to prevent the Major from capturing it. And these Grenadiers should be able to capture this point, no problem. Has the bar on the back model right there. Does pull out Teller Mine there. May have been in vision range. Rear Shalon making their advance. Riflemen also as well. But they should be get overwhelmed no problem. Molotov was thrown. Rifle Grenade does for the Rifle Grenades there. Going for anything Rifle Grenade there on the uh, Panzer Warper. Does get the hit there but is wounded but not necessarily in danger. Riperman does receive quite a bit farther, needs to fall back. Jackson finds a good hit there onto the Panther. We're losing a capture point. And the encirclement Duction player does have a lot of munitions stored up, enough for a supply break into a close the pocket. I say crush the pocket sometimes because that's actually what's called in the game files. Crush underscore pocket, I believe. If I remember correctly, top of my head. And right now, close the pocket right here wouldn't, or break the supply line into close the pocket wouldn't be half bad. Ah, reconnaissance run. He's asked this reconnaissance run could reveal everything he needs to think about close the pocket. We'll spot these units run past. Once they've passed, a supply break could be in order. We also got some cavalry riflemen. Unusual autumn to see at this point in time. Over here, Grenadiers are starting to gaze. Sniper's still alive. And the sniper does fall back. Here's Calio Barrage. Try to avoid it. Wasn't coming, being called on top of him. Infantry units are not close enough being closed right there. Grenadiers are making their advance. Over here, we've got some hits there on the Grenadier. The Grenadiers may need to fall back. We're seeing some hits there. And Panthers aren't making this advance. I'm trying to keep an eye on that break the supply line ability. Break the supply line has been activated. We got the Grenadiers here as well. So we're going to see a full close uh, the pocket. And here we go. Close the pocket has been activated. This point's being immediately being recaptured, but we'll see a substantial amount of artillery in this sector. And we will see him in the same artillery as well. He just now realizes his late response. This, the Scott could be destroyed. But right now the Allies are in full retreat thanks to the close of the pocket. Over here, this area has been reconnected. So now only light mortar barrages. But did force back his opponent. Looks like there was no cash off the white other than on top, onto a 50 cal. Which is acceptable white when it comes to a close of the pocket. The Allies will stabilize. The tickets just got surpassed. But they gave the Axis players a lot of time to claim territory and and secure what they have. Because the left flank is very well secured by Red. We also got some bunkers being pulled out by Magenta as well as some landmines. So he is spending out some munitions for the Teller Mine, so it's likely not going to be another close the pocket. It's highly likely that the next close the pocket will be successful, because opponents could pull out cash or two, but they don't really have the manpower to support a cash at the moment. Great hits there. Takes out the uh, MG42 with the Calio. Calliope. Calvary from making their advance gains of good damage in. Rangers and 
all these horses are advancing. The, the rangers do drop the bazooka. That was likely going to happen. And it looks like the rear echelons are getting suppressed. As more for Barrage is raining on in, that's really overkill. And onto a fuel point, I suppose fuel is still necessary for the players. But that was for every single rear echelon squad. That was definitely not worth it for a single rear echelon squad. These Grenadiers are getting suppressed by the M captured MG-42. They do, of course, get fully pinned. Oh, up here, we've got the Sherman tank advancing. Getting some good hits there in the bunker, but may go down. Does go down the pack 40, and the bunker does remain. The Pioneers are getting suppressed by the 50 cal. And however, uh, the Wehrmacht sniper is here as well. The Pioneers should take time to repair the bunker while at it. Scott coming for a barrage onto that bunker now. One shot, one kill. That's not usually how that saying goes in that case. Pack Force rolls a miss. Elephant does not find a shot either. Rolls of Bows of Force Fire rolls a miss. I thought I saw some shots from base taking on that aircraft. Could have been from the Sherman tanks. Rangers do fall back, avoiding the fire. And a sniper does get hit there onto the rear echelon. Rear echelon do fire some rounds there. And more and more rifle grenades are raining on in. S mines, small S mine field has been deployed there. And major artillery in the S mine field. Okay, that's one way to defuse a bunch of landmines. Fresh bunker has been out, but no upgrade at the moment. And the major's down to one last model. Sniper may pick him off, but snipers rotate around. There's two Wehrmacht snipers. And we do have a uh, hold down an elephant tank. Not gonna be all effective, honestly. Hold down's not really. You don't really want to use hold down on the elephant. As Warper Barrage did not wipe out the captured engine 42. And he still has his own sniper to fly on the field. 63 kills. Still no MG upgrade onto this bunker. Ooh, that Fairmock sniper needs some blood. Got an elephant shot there onto the Jackson. Target destroyed. Looks like he's taking out the bunker once again. But this time it's unupgraded, so no missions lost. The. Encirclement Doctrine player does have 200 munitions, so can't call him in circle of the close the pocket. Or, and may save it up for for a uh, break the supply line to uh, close one side of the map. Closing the right <laughs> My voice just cracked. Closing the right side wouldn't be half bad. Closing the left side wouldn't be half bad either, since they're pushing pretty far in. Now the MG bunker been pulled out this time by red, and this time it's being upgraded the MG. The bunker has been approved with an MG forty-two. Sherm tank advancing, trying to get uh, another engagement. MG bunker has been upgraded. And now more Calio barrage is running on. Grenadiers do drop the LMG-42. Which looks like nothing that Reacher can pick it up at the moment. Jackson trying to push away forward, trying to throw some rounds into the Panther. 
And over here, we've got some shots there onto the bunker, as well as some scotch shots. And it does take out the bunker, and multiple misses there by the pack guns. And they're all fed in. Oh, it, had, it was a force fire. Elephant rotating on over. Pioneers catch the point, and we've got some more Panzer for shots there. And does get the kill there with the sniper. Snipers. Right from in and rear echelon making the advance. The Rangers could pick up the LMG. No, they cannot. Looks like they re picked up the bazooka. Another drop. There's a drop bar there. Somebody dropped the bar. Jackson's advancing. Sees a pen there and sends a bounce towards the Panther. Panther does use a pen there. He could go for an anti tank rifle grenade there. Scott, that seems really tightly packed for a Scott shot or two. Oh! He did that way too early. The light mortar barrage. Cutting it off does... The close the pocket effect does not work. Closing the pocket does not work if the... Only works if it's initially cut off. Though they're actually in sector through the right side of the map now. Since they control the center of the map. So only light mortars are coming on in. Though this area was actually taken cut off, so it did receive the close the pocket effect, which is actually something important to note. It's these cutoff points themselves for the VPs. So this fuel point controls the cutoff for this point here, while it is this uh, regular point to determine the cutoff point for here, which actually is not symmetrical. Or when it comes to the effects of close the pocket. And it would not be symmetrical as well when it comes to annihilation games. Since the VPs are replaced with stated strategic points. Jackson's does receive a hit there. And over on the right side, Rechon do get forced back by the Grenadiers. Got the 50 cal advancing, the riflemen are trying to hunt down these forces. Sniper lining up a shot there. Panzerwerfer Barrage could be on top of the 50 cal. Nope, it's up north. Wipes out, I believe, the cavalry riflemen. And these guys were stunned by a uh, st stun round from the sniper. Snipers do manage to escape on out of there. Panzerwerfers are relatively exposed as well, especially to the adva advancing Sherman tank. Jackson's Veteran C2. This, of course, does have means to have access to the HEVAT rounds with Veteran C1. Now, here comes the Calio Barrage into this sector. No, that's Scott Barrage. Calio Barrage is raining back over here. Elephant. Has four kills. All infantry somehow. And it looks like the elephant has hauled down right here, so it should have great coverage against vehicles. Also, Panther's also hauling down zone. These anti vehicle guns are not really great for hauling down. Unless your opponent is diving in with armored vehicles. On the right side, we've got the Rangers engaging the Grenadiers and they force them back, no problem. Does throw in a good round into that cover, obliterating it. And now we do got some major artillery, I think, raining on in right there. As for the cross, we're raining on in, trying to protect the central VP. The VPs are 163, 162 to 165, so they're very similar still. 
this game can still go either way. Though it feels like Axis players do have a bit of a better position when it comes to armored assets, but they're constantly receiving indirect fire. The Axis players do have a bit more of a manpower float as well, and Magenta's getting close for another uh, close the pocket. As 240 munitions can close out this one to crush this side, but there's nothing much on that side. Cadio Barrage is running on in. Do we have another reconnaissance to overfly? Passable spot C. Well, he can crush. Oh, on the right side, maybe better for time for a crush the pocket. He is going, they're going to see a lot of armor right there. The sector's not going to secure. This point can't get overwhelmed. The Sherman tanks are, are about ready to charge forward. So maybe the right side of the map for crushing it would be a good idea just to force back his opponent. We don't have close pocket ready just yet or supply break being activated. Heather in pursuit of the Scott. The Scott has not received any shots in, and Jackson's here to support as well. Does send a pen there onto the Scott, and now here comes the Sherman tanks. We got these pioneers pushing them forward. This may be time for close the pocket. Supply break has not been activated. Now, actually, it's a good time for a close-up pocket along the right side. Panther receiving quite a bit of fire, will get overwhelmed. Panther Files does connect, Elephant trying to gauge, does get hit there. Still no close-up pocket. Panther's main gun destroyed. Sherman Tank does go down there. Magenta's Panther in pursuit. Sends a pass files into the uh, Sherman tank as well, but the Pan Magenta's Panther should clean up no problem. And it goes down. We just lost a medium tank. And no close pocket. Looks like there was just some regular pants war first. Lose Jackson tank will escape out of there or Jackson self propelled gun. We do have both uh, Scott still alive and going for another Sherman 76 at this point in time. Jackson's probably better. They offer a bit more ranged firepower. It does claim a pack 40 for a blue. Our fighting position now has some ordnance behind it. Over the left flank, we do have these forces that are advancing once again. And sniper shots engaging these rangers. And does wipe out that squad there with the incendiary shot. Very nice. Smoke round was utilized, and that Pioneer Squad will need to fall back. Transport for Barrage does can engage. And does wolf. Enemies are swarming one of our did not go for the uh, fire incendiary shell there. Could have got a squad wipe. Had they received a bit of fire, riflemen in major advancing as well. We may see the major artillery. That is munitions cache there. And a sniper does avoid the Calio Barrage, does get revealed by it. Re camouflages now. I don't think he'll capture the point in time before the engineers or rear echelon interrupts the capture. Supply break. And close the pocket was activated once more. Oh, I guess the close they did change the close the pocket can now reactivate. So we do have close the pocket being activated there. Won't really accomplish all too much. We'll annihilate the 50 cal here, but that's about it. I don't think there was actually anything there. This right from the squad's advancing way too early. And here comes the overwhelming artillery right here. It will splash this rifleman as well. And the rifleman will avoid being splashed and no more close the pocket, just light artillery barrage. Or light mortar barrage, and I really don't know how effective the light mortar is. It's like one round, like every 10 seconds, it's horrendously horrible. But 
Let's head around there onto the Scott. And there's a capture pack 40, I've heard. Which of the Panthers at Adventure C2, halfway to Adventure C3, Elephant Tank at Adventure C2, Adventure C1, three fourths away to Adventure C2. How the riflemen could charge forward to get a uh, AT satchel off. They don't have enough munitions, however. It is 45 munitions. He just got enough now. Snipers engaging these forces here, but the snipers may get overran by the cavalry riflemen. They do fall back now. And the Sherman tank gets a direct hit onto the sniper. And it actually was an accuracy hit, not a scatter hit. Satchel charge does connect, but won't get the engine snare. Still needs to be below a certain health, like the AT Grenade of Panzer Faust. Sniper does get smoked out. Does avoid the rifle grenade shots. The Luftwaffe stands ready to cut off the enemy. Okay, break supplies. Okay, available once again. Pack boys, you get some great hits there. Next volley could potentially take out the Sherm tank and rolls and miss there. Smoke round or the console overfly coming on in. Grandiers and Panzer Grandiers making their advance. The rifle squad should be overwhelmed. It does manage to capture that point there. More smoke rounds, this time deployed out by the Scott. Very nice. And here comes the Panzer Warfare Barrage, maybe into the sector here. Yep. Both Panzer Warfare gets two weapon crews. Very nice. Down south, got the uh, rear echelon engaged and getting some good rifle grenade hits still. And that rear echelon has vet three and only three kills. How is that possible? Calio Barrage raining on in, getting some great hits. Does the crew the vet three. Pack 40, which is actually very important. Scott needs to fall back, so does the Calio. Calio does receive a hit there. Anti tank rifle grenade connects. Force fires around, rolls, and then Jackson me, is getting through some great hits in there. AT rifle grenade there onto the elephant as well. More hits there. Could maintain its range. He back around would be great. Main gun destroyed. One more shot instead. Amazing anti tank rifle grenade there by the rifleman. Nope, but the Jackson does go down. Pick it out. Ooh, these guys are wounded. A rifleman squad could quickly clean them up. They need to fall back. He has hauled down the Jackson. I believe it was actually an AT satchel from our, the cavalry rifleman that damaged his engine. Now let's get a throw a grenade in the mix. Gets a great hit there on the uh, Pioneers. Make the wipe there. Does get the wipe there. Good hit there onto the rifleman. Now we've got some good rifle grenade hits there. Pants War for Barrage raining on in. Patch over here. Onto the deep. Yeah, bit of mix it everywhere. Rifle grenades getting some great work done. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Four kills. Zero kills, vet two. How is that possible? They do damage, they just don't kill. Going for another AT satchel charge. Does get the AT satchel charge off as well. Gets another pen there by the Jack Scott, I believe. And AT satchel does finish it off. There's still a spare Panthers left. Don't really need the elephant tank, honestly. The elephant tank's not really useful at this moment in time. Try and up the Panther there.
good. Regular frag grenade there. Force him back to Grenadiers. And now the Jacksons are getting hit and picked off by those, or Panthers are going to be picking off those Jacksons with long range hits. Does roll a miss there on that right from a minute as he runs away. Jacksons, both of them needs, uh, or Panthers, both of them needs hits or healed. Sherman takes now advancing. They have prioritized fire on. They're in hunting mode, trying to hunt down these Panthers. There's a lot of vulnerable targets here. Pack 40 has rotated its gun around. Does he hit there by the Panther? The other Jackson has rolled on forward, not being focused down. Brumbar severely wounded. Does take out that Sherman tank. That so this Jackson's at, oh, Panther is actually hauled down. And does roll a miss there on the Brumbar, and it will go down. Riflemen, Lieutenant, and Cavalry Riflemen making their advance. I hear a uh, pass from Farage. He does dodge it in time. Rashalon do get splashed a bit, however. Looks like Blue's going for another Jackson, which is a good idea. At this point in time, Yellow needs to go for a Jackson. The Storm 76s are just not paying out. Kyle Braj gets some great hits there. Kyle Braj from in making their advance try to get some good damage in. Cavalry Arkham squads do fall back. Pour it on. Thanks, support is here. Sherman ready. Axis players down to 99 tickets. The Allies are down to 81 tickets. It's still anybody's game at this point in time. We do have a fighting position in the map. Scott does receive a hit there as well and wipes out a Grenadier of Red, so running low on Grenadiers. We do have finally a command tick being pulled out by Red. I got some rifle grenades hitting those grenadiers. Grubar has been hold down. Going for anything? No. Nope. Oh, yes, he is going for anything. Rifle grenade does force him back, however. And these forces are still quite wounded. Command tank is in the. It's heading up north. There is a Sherman tank here. At this point in time, a hold down pounds of four wouldn't be half bad if you worry about armor advancements. And he's fighting. No, he's fighting against guy who's gone for ten not so he doesn't have to worry about any tank guns. So hold down Sherman of uh, Panzer IV right there wouldn't be half bad. But there's also a captured AT gun here. It does get a mark target there. Throws down a reconnaissance run. Panzer Tactician does come out trying to avoid fire. Receives a pen there. Panzer Man Tank does get a nice smoke round as well. Warfers do fire barrages, rolls and misses there. None of the Reds and Beagles went down. Jackson does get a nice hit there onto the Brumbar. Multiple hits there on the Brumbar. Panzer Warfare exposed. Brumbar is severely wounded. And Rear Arch Line is here for spotting. Does also some Panzer Tactician there. Red's uh, Panzer Tank is severely wounded. Got Calio Barrage right on top of the Panzer Warfare who has not broken the round. Red's uh, Panther is down. Jackson will go down as well. Brumbar gains some hits there on the rear echelon. And that uh, Panzer Warfare does go down and gets goes abandoned and goes down to the fully goes down to the Scott. Good hit there by the Brumbar. And Stormtroopers have been put on the field. Does receive a grenade there. Yep, they did strain them to hell. And here comes 
another close the pocket. And this is a full one. Stormtroopers are on this point as well, which will slow down the capture. There's nothing capturing this point as well. And the entire front line is been closed, which he's splashing quite a bit of his, uh, his teammates' forces. That may. That was a rear echelon model there. Pioneers do go down to the close of the pocket. Whoops. Sniper needs to get into that uh, capture point. Yep, he is going there now. It's hard to see the terrain. Now here comes uh, Scott Barrage and Calio Barrage. Sniper does receive some hits there. Abandons the point. It's probably just do a full retreat. Yes, it does full retreat. Axis players down to 37 tickets, not a whole lot remaining, but it's a neutral crafter at the moment. Grenadiers need to get on that point to stop the rear echelon from capturing it up. They are they weren't on the point there. Panther trying to throw some, does throw some rounds there onto that fighting position as Jackson with Hevac rounds is firing as well. Grenadiers need to get back on the point. Though it's currently being referred back from the US player, which is fine, doesn't have to be back on melee on that point. Good hits there onto the Lieutenant. Panzer Rangers are falling back now. And he does interrupt the capture there, but he will fully capture the point. That will be double capture against the X players. They don't have a whole lot of tickets remaining. Good hit there on that rifle squad. So likely the pioneers will decapture the point at least. Trying to go for AT satchel. Does get the AT satchel there on the burn bar. Pioneers do decapture the point. They need to fall back now. There's actually a bunker in the corner. Interesting. And Sherman Tank does get a full wipe there. Panther receiving quite a bit of fire there. Another grenade there as well. Rifle grenade in return. Forced back to the rear echelon, but the point is captured. Double capture against the Axis players and down with 13 tickets. We're losing a capture point. This may be the end of the Axis players. They are decaptured to such a point. This point has been uh, decaptured as well, so it's going to be a neutral capture. Stormtroopers do receive some shots there. Throws out smoke grenade, trying to stall out as long as it can. They will not get the full capture there. This point is still captured, and this point is being captured up by the allies. It's looking bad for the Axis players on the four tickets. Pack 40 needs to point forward. It's pushing his way forward. He needs to get that Grenadier onto the point. Does he capture the point there? Does he capture the point over here? Panzer Grenadiers are captured. Decapture the point. This point will maintain decapture, and one ticket remains. Wipes out one of the rear echelon squads here. Need to make sure that it's a full capture by the Axis players more time. Got tactical advance there. Capt fully captured that point there. Uh, one of the Panzer Sherman tanks go down. It was a sacrifice to try to capture that point. Panzer Grenadiers captured the central point there. Stormtroopers are trying to capture this point now. Tactical advance will spell doom for the Stormtroopers. Scott uh, throws a smoke grenade there, so Stormtroopers are just stalling. More reinforcements. Brumbar is throwing shots in as well, so Brumbar is very important. Jax is down to one shot remaining. Panther will likely get the kill. Stops, fires, gets the kill there. The Calliope is a attempting target at this moment in time. Can't say it's a good target at this moment in time. Fires gets hit there. Not pursuing at the moment. Sherman tank in response. Does receive a pen there as well. Maybe it looks away. But the Sherman tank is two shots away from death. The Panther is more than two shots away, so this may be a good duel. Burnbar does go down. The point may get decaptured. Will get captured by the Axis uh, the allies. This point has been captured by the Axis players, and you're going to see a tactical advance. Tactical advance will annihilate the rear echelons. And will fully wipe the rear echelon, but now we'll get hit severely by the riflemen. Frag the grenade there, throwing the riflemen. Riflemen will secure up this point, but Panzer War first. No! Panzerwerfers get a critical double kill or double wipe. Uh, I don't use this word lightly, but an actual clutch. Calliope does get the wipe there on the stormtroopers, leave this point exposed. This point is being captured by the single model stormtroopers. They have to take gambles like that. 
Grenadiers, regular Grenadiers capture the central point of VP as well. We are losing a sector. Fresh Rangers, not upgraded. Not enough munitions for upgrades. The Stormtrooper. He's going to sacrifice and keeping the sector. Put on the far side. Keep a hold fire camouflage. Letting it fight is going to be worthless. But hope we can stall out as long as it can. Rangers are charging on forward. Grandiers are too wounded. Rangers who are eyeing the captain's point. The Grandier needs to get in that point. They're, veteran, they're highly veteran and they do have a bar as well. So they should be able to win out close range. Versus Rangers without Thompson's. Panzer Grandiers trying to capture this point. Pioneers come to support but they're unvetted. And these are a lot of veteran infantry here. Panzer Grandiers need to throw a bundle grenade. Pioneers in the region. They're doing a good job focusing on the riflemen. And we've got fresh stormtroopers brought up by this garrison. Magenta should win out of the engagement, but will the top is secure, center is secure. Magenta will get the southern point. And that would be a triple capture to the Axis players. And they don't have. They need to stop building those S mines. Actually. This, I think they may actually still be technically building it because I didn't actually see them to get deployed. You know, clearly it looked like a build. Unless the quote unquote built one actually got destroyed, preventing from actually being deployed. Panther goes down. Has Grenadiers camping this point. Grenadiers camping this point. Allies are down to 12 tickets. This double capture, soon to be triple capture. That's it. The Allies, they've lost. The Allies have lost. They managed to hold on for a clutch victory with one ticket remaining. A lot of things went right for the Axis players at the end of the game. But either way, this is Andy Gray saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.